Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Iron Factory War Giant Set B X-23 Blasters and these names keeps getting longer <laughs> so yeah these are the, the last remaining part for the Iron Factory Bruticus Combiner and I've been waiting for those for a long time <laughs> and yeah I really dig this set so here's the box uh, cool uh, photos in front it's just Odd that uh, the colors are a little bit different. This one is more uh, vortex for a uh, vortex. The arms and head and legs are blue, while the figurine is more of a turquoise. Much I, I prefer the turquoise one, but eh, it's just weird. So on top, not much. On the side, we've got spin vulture, which is which is vortex. On your side, we got booster spear, which is blast off. In the back, we've got some uh, action shots, and if you want, you've got a QR code to follow on their website. So, uh, yeah, so not much else. So, let's open the box. And yoink, and nothing else in here. Let's throw this aside. Underneath, we've got instructions. Now, instructions are pretty okay, I guess. Uh, the only thing uh, they're missing is how to combine the weapons, and yeah, really not cool, because the weapons were not that easy to combine, you know? So, yeah, otherwise instructions are just one side blast off, one side uh, vortex, and pretty much it. No, uh, no cards, no nothing, so no, I'm gonna skip this. Now, here's the figures. All blurry, but yeah, here's the figures. But first off, if we go underneath, we've got some stands, and they're cool. But I'm not gonna play with those. Uh, it's just normal stands with, you know. Yeah, it's just stands. <laughs> it's cool that the inclement that they they gave it to us, but it's just stand. We know how they work. So here's the uh, inside of the box. Which is really cool. So, uh, accessories. First off, they included a uh, non-transforming shockwave blaster. And he, uh, the gun looks really freaking cool. Focus. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Stupid camera. All right. Alright, so here's blast off gun mode. It doesn't transform. But, uh, yeah, it's been much it. The... Uh, We've got the cord and the rubber right here. The sight can rotate, and it's pretty much it. There's no articulation whatsoever. Still a cool blaster, a translucent uh, nose, uh, and yeah. We've got some huge pegs to peg inside of the hand, which is cool. But uh, yeah. set this aside. Otherwise, what would he have? We've got some guns, and some guns, and some guns. Alright, so this is the front of the uh, Vortex Copter. It's uh, sort of parts forming, I'm not a fan of. But yeah, this is the front of the helicopter. So it, it makes, it doubles as the gun. We've got the handle right here. So, yeah. Not a fan of the uh, whole part forming. We've got some double guns for blast off right here. These open up for uh, combiner mode, and they do split up, and yeah, like this. So it gives him uh, gives blast off two pistols, sort of. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. I just dig the. Uh, I understand for the transformation, uh, the combiner. But it's, it feels hot. I'll, I'll come back to this later. Alright, and finally we've got this gun right here again for blast off. So a normal pistol, the handle can store, but this is for combined mode. And again like this for combined mode. But yeah, cool pistol. Not much else to say. No painted detail. So, Alright. Then we've got the hands. And one... Two. 
So we've got hands, and they are pretty cool. Articulated tongue with uh, uh, one joint articulation. Mine has one problem, it, it pegs off. It's supposed to have a pin inside, and as you can see, there is none. So it's probably been forgotten in the factory. Kind of odd. But yeah, each finger is uh, uh, posable. Only has like a two digit of the fingers. And we have a rotating wrist right here, which is really tight. But yeah, this is one hand. The other hand is uh, exactly the same, except mine does have a pin on this thumb. All the fingers again are articulated, and it's just the um, connector that is kind of different, but also rotatable. Huh? Pretty cool. And now the figures. So let's start with last off right here, and move the camera down so we can see stuff and focus. All right. Here's uh, Vulture. Or uh, Vortex. I prefer Vortex than Spin Vulture. And we've got his uh, rotor blade. The rotor blade is stored uh, like this in the box. So you just open up all the blades. And there's the L shaped connector pin that I don't like too much. And you just lift this up and peg it in. Yeah, like so. Bring this down again. So now he has his blades. And like I said, he is much more turquoise. And there's nothing else inside. So let's set this aside. And everything falls off. Who cares? So yeah, really, really cool figures. Nice looking Vortex and Blast Off. <coughs> like I said, the E color are much more... Uh, uh, brighter uh, for blast off more turquoise. I, I like it better like this, but yeah, the box shows a more blue one. So let's start with the uh, blast off articulation. The head is on a tiny, tiny ball joint, so yeah, the head can move side to side, rotate, kind of tilt a little bit. Uh, shoulders are on a swivel like this. Up and down and also a ball joint uh, we've got these shoulder pads that we can unpeg from the arms they come pegged in so er, all right so give him some shoulder pads we've got a swivel at the upper arm we've got a swivel at the elbow we've got the hand that has another swivel the waist is on a swivel right here. We've got a ab crunch, sort of, right here, which is kind of cool. We've got legs that can do the Van Damme split. We do have rotation at the upper thigh. The legs does move uh, front like this, back like this. Yoink. The knee bends a little bit less than 90 degrees, but yeah, you can pop the joint out. And yeah, give him much more uh, double knee action, but yeah, you have to tab it back in. And you have a little less than 90 degrees. And the foot is on a pole joint swivel, so it does move front, back, and tilt, and rotate. So that's pretty much it for Blast Off. Set him aside. And Vortex. Pretty much the same. Head is also on a tiny, tiny ball joint. Does rotate. It's kind of hard to uh, access the head because of this backpack. But yeah, again, the arms are on a swivel like this and up and down. And arms does have a double joint which is kind of cool also he has his guns stored in the box in the back of his arm so let's peg these open uh, off and just show them off and these are really uh reminiscent of the g1 guns that he used to have which is really freaking cool I just can give him his gun he can hold them 
and you can also peg them on the arms and well if you want to and yeah all right so continuing the articulation we've got a waist swivel we do have another ab crunch also which is more for transformation into arm mode but yeah oops all right just move the guns all right uh the legs does uh bend like this open it's not the full van dam at all the leg does move forward like this do it does move back like this and the knee does bend 90 degrees which is kind of cool we do have a um swivel at the front of the toes so it does move side to side back to front and like this nothing at the heels though so there we have vortex and yoink and yeah pretty cool duo and for a small comparison with his buddies from the previous one all right everyone just fall on that come on didn't do this early on but now that we're on video sure everyone fall mm. <laughs> stand all right so here we have a swindle from the first batch first set here we have brawl from the first set again and here we have onslaught and they are really nice and they are scale nicely i really love the scale even though onslaught is the leader he's not that much bigger from the other ones you know even brawl is like much bulkier than the others <laughs> which is odd uh, another size comparison here we have uh uh, legend size wheelie and here we have uh, iron factory's bridge watcher so yeah pretty cool if we want to compare with uh, the cannon <laughs> so let's move them aside and proceed to uh, transformation I mean, we'll do the vehicle transformation first and let's start with blast off so uh, focus right straighten up the arms and peg the side of the uh, panel inside of the arms like this and move the hands uh, like this so that the uh, hole is with the uh, screws inside of the forearm so straighten up the arms peg in rotate the fist Next up, you re-lift this and just move the panel straight. Make sure to just the, the back panel right here is straight so the head can sink in. Next up, you want to bring the arms like this. Rotate them like this. And they don't peg in each other, of each other which is odd. But make sure that these bars, which are uh, landing gear, you can pull them out, are uh, facing downward. Now there's two pegs inside of here that will peg inside of the cockpit right here above. And make sure they peg in like so. And the legs now. Legs. Uh, open these panel up like so. Like so. And just combine or wars the leg in. Just accordion everything in like so peg the legs together like this next up you close these panel take the feet move them forward rotate them like so and keep them forward like this so move them up rotate and move them back so now the feet are like this Next up, you bring the wings down and flip the uh, side of the wings, and they will peg in like so on the side of the uh, chests. This up, this up, and peg this in like this. And we have blast off completed in vehicle mode. And he looks pretty damn cool. A nice, uh, futuristic kind of looking shuttle. 
which is really freaking cool. We do have lining gear, like I said earlier, right here. Nothing in the back, so we're guessing the heels acts as um, lining gear. If you want, you can take these weapons from uh, earlier. Split them open. Close these off. Close these off. And peg them inside of the wings. Like so. And like so. <coughs> so yeah. He's whipping up. And if you want, you can also peg the uh, third gun. <laughs> kind of looks silly, but yeah. <coughs> Alright, so this is the last off. There's no articulation or nothing. Do have some nice paint details on the wings. Some silver here, some silver bits here. Translucent window. Pretty much it. <laughs> it's just a shuttle. Alright. Vortex now. Vortex. Ooh. Whoa, your turn later. Vortex now. Uh, first off, turn the head around. So it's going to be hard because, you know, backpack and there's the uh, show. So move the head back like this. The instruction doesn't say it. You can leave it uh, the, uh, facing the other way around if you want to. But me, it really bothers that having the head, you know, pointing and you know, sticking out like this is, uh, yeah. Open the, uh, close the tail fin, like this, move the, uh, rotor like this, just make them out of the way, like this, uh, and peg the arms on the chest, like so. So double, yeah, the rotor is, um, not that, uh, solid, so it does fit in, it does stick in, but it, rem you can remove it really easily, so it just falls off regularly, so, yeah. So we'll move the arms like this, and there's a peg on the side of the arm that will peg inside of the chest, like this, and move the pan, open the panel like this, and flip the leg. Make sure the uh, foot are uh, closed up like this with the hole sticking out. So yeah, move the legs in like so, and peg them inside of the chest. Or the back, yeah, the back of the. Uh, so close in, close this, peg this, close them panels up, and you get something like this. Now you take the front facing gun, open this up, and there's a hole right here that will plug with this. And voila. And you can close the handle, and now you have. Vortex all done. You just give it his rotor again, like so. Fix the uh, the uh, blades, and there you go. Now again, not much to it. We've got landing here's here, and pretty much it. You can give him his uh, weapon on the side of the arms, like so, and. Pretty much it. There's no articulation beside the rotating blade and the whoop, cannon that moves up and down. Problem is, uh, like I said, this just pegs off really easily, so it really bothers me that we have a fake chassis. And uh, yeah, still a cool figure, but mm, yeah, the parts forming bothers me a lot. So yeah, cool figure like this all right <coughs> now uh, what we've been waiting for a long time combining the figures all together for Bruticus oh yeah so uh, vehicle mode starts really good so just place all the other figures also in vehicle mode and through movie magic so here's all the uh, figures from the uh, Iron Factory War Giant line just for a vehicle comparison how they look like all together and yeah it's a really freaking cool set look amazing 
if you want to we can bring the trailer or onslaught bring the cannons take them here like so and bring this here voila so now we have the big trailer we can put the tank on and have the buddies squirt it <laughs> looks really freaking cool uh, now in the instruction we can use these uh, 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 uh. come on peg off so these are supposed to have the hands uh, all curled up into a fist uh, I guess like this and we plug like this have, and this is supposed to fit in like so it's a really tight fit maybe we have to leave these like this oh, okay it fits much better so close this in like this so now we have one hand like this so just close the first knuckles and insert them in close the thumb in so now we have the hands stored in and we can plug them back inside of the trailer without on pegging everything so when peg in and voila all right so we've got the whole trailer swindle blast off vortex and brawl all in uh vehicle mode so uh oh and just put the fun of it You've got the bridge watcher right here. <laughs> like so, yeah. Or the original one, whatever. So, transformation into giant Rudicus war giant mode. Uh, let's start off with Brawl. First off, we just need to spin, uh, whoop, remove this, spin the peg in like this, close this up, and bring this back in like this. And he's ready. <laughs> Swindle. Open the hood. And he's ready. <laughs> I like it when I've been mean, like this. So let's just peg these off. Remove the hands. Bring the feet. So we take the feet. Close the wheels. Like so. And open up these black gray panel. So this is the uh, left foot. So with this uh, articulated uh, like this, this is for brawl. So we we got two tabs, a hole, and two tabs right here. Slide this in, and that black hole is gonna peg inside of the crotch. So we've got one foot secured in, one foot down. Swindle right here, same thing. Two tabs, hole right here, two tabs right here, and a tiny hole in the crotch for the uh, piece right here so plug it in tab it in and we've got the other leg done uh, let's uh, let's move on to Bruticus uh, onslaught so this side for now and quite simple open these panel up split the legs pull the legs out Move them like this and bend them like this. Like this and like this. Next up, you move these panel up like this. Bring the arms out. Rotate them. And there's a tiny tab on the side of the arm. With a tiny hole underneath the arm pit. And plug it in. Same for the other side. Plug it in. Take the gun. Rotate so that the holes are facing upward bringing them up and closing in like this so he's pretty much done take the cannon remove take the crotch plate remove move these like this close this up close this up and now there's a uh, big peg in the middle of the crotch plate and two round thingy the swivel plug right here Make sure the legs are extended now. Now that the crotch plate is uh, 
plug in. The legs are locked in, so you can just pull them out easily. Come to the back right here, open the window like this, and there's a uh, connector piece. This is just requires a tiny tool to help you pull it out, like so, like this, and you you can leave this open like this now. All right, bring this part right here, unpeg it at the top. Oh, it's really hard, but uh, yeah, you just unpeg this like this, pull it out, slowly, all right, straighten up the antennas, like this, move this up like this, and set this here, take this piece right now, uh, flip this up, flip this up, close the wheels, close the wheels, this will peg in the back, there's two peg holes, and two pegs right here, so stick it in, stick it in, like this, and there's two big peg hole there, and this one has a peg right here, and two holes right here, and this will peg inside of the chest right here, and these two pegs like here. So bring it here, peg the chest, peg the upper part, uh, here. Oops. It's just fiddling one and two. All right, so now you open up the wings, and now you have Bruticus chest all done. You can give him the cannon in the back, like so. All right, so Bruticus uh, onslaught is done. Set this aside. Oh wait, these parts right here. Uh, you can peg them either at the uh, butt plate or at the back of the cannon. This gives them a the big backpack. This gives them a bit more bulk. Uh, you can put it downward to give him like a butt flap. Personally, I think the gap right here bothers me a little bit. So I just flip it all the way around and peg it like this. This makes it a more streamlined backpack. So yeah, just do as you want. <laughs> All right, blast off, really easy. Take the gun off, take the guns off. Don't put those too far away because you're gonna need them. Uh, the wings, close them. Like this, like this, close the wings. And now you grab the leg and torso and you pull, like this. So now you have an extended uh, articulation right here. Now comes the gun part. Now, this is weird to me. So you have to take the gun, peg them together, and open up this flap. And you just jam the flap inside of the hole right here, and just like this. This really makes me weirded out. Like, why? I know it's for locking the uh, articulation right here, but why that type of engineering? It's really odd. So you got one arm. Uh, you can choose, I like to have the fins upward, so I'll leave the arms like this. Take the hand, and this is the hand with the pinless thumb. And you get two peg holes, uh, two pegs right here, and two peg holes inside of the reactor. So, one plus one, and there you go. You get one hand done. This is the connector for the combine mode, so let's move this aside. Vortex. Uh, this you need to remove first. Uh, let's remove the rotor to help. Uh, remove the guns to help again. <laughs> All right, now you're left with this. What you need to do is move the torso down. This you're gonna hear a click and then pull it out. This pulls out the uh, connector and then clip it back in right here. So now you have the hand all done. The, the arm, I mean. Now you need to split the cockpit open and come back at this uh, faux cockpit. Pull on this part right here. This is gonna be a combining part for the weapon. Come to this and on the handle, you're gonna see some notches. 
these notches are going to be clamped up inside right here so you just peg this in close it in and voila this is how it stores which is really odd it's solid but you know, it kind of looks weird come to the hand right now there's two uh big peg holes and two peg holes right here you need to clamp it on the square right here and the cockpit is supposed to peg in here but it doesn't so yeah it's odd so rotate this open up the fingers if you want to and now you can come back and peg the just like this if you want you can give him the uh, guns again it's gonna block maybe the uh, rotor but yeah and can we move this uh, all right like this or you can point him upward maybe look better all right so now we got the other arm done assembly uh wait let's move into the gun first so just peg everything because mine was already built <laughs> this is onslaught's gun it uh goes like this Oop, the camera so you flip the handle down flip this up like this then you take blast off's gun flip down close the handle and flip it down i think or yeah the other way around so the square fits in no it may be the other one like so then you take uh, both brawls gun close the handle and you peg these on each side of the there's a tiny hole right here so with the notch of this one close it in like this so this is, looks like this you take uh, this one right here and the handle this is a swindles bazooka close the uh, uh, open the handle on the other side like here and there's two uh, tabs these will clamp under well uh, between uh, both uh, brawls gun so one two like so you take this one uh, this one is uh, again a uh, swindles pistol plug it inside here and it clamps on the other peg right here and finally you've got the uh, vortex tiny pistol at the front of the cockpit and you plug it inside right here and it gives it a tiny iron sight so now we have the gun all combined up which looks really damn cool compared to uh, the blast off uh, shockwave blaster and the iron uh, the bridge watcher so <laughs> yeah let's set all of this aside for combining so take the uh, mushroom peg right here slide it inside here and pull it out <coughs> sorry again mushroom peg slide it in you can close it uh, the uh the hood just a little bit and we've got the legs all done move this up focus all right now like i said these two holes are the connectors so on each side there's two pegs so plug it really tight connection but it looks really cool same thing here there's a two pegs right here and the rotor just pegged off like I said, the rotor just doesn't want to stay pegged in. It's uh, bothersome, but... Alright. Slide this in. And now we have Bruticus, or War Giant, all built up. And he looks so good. He is bulky. He looks strong. He looks menacing. So, yeah. Awesome. For articulation, the head is on a ball joint. It's uh, really freaking tight, but it does move. The arm does have a clicky ratchet. It does have some rotation joint right here. Make sure it just stays back in. Same thing for the other side. We do have 
ratchet elbow. We do have a swivel. The hand already talked about. Same thing on the other side. Clicky. Er. Same thing for the arm. No, uh, yeah, we do have some waist articulation. It's kind of hindered by the backpack, but it's there. If we move the uh, skirt up, we do have some leg rotation, but it doesn't go that far. It just goes like this. Same thing for the back leg. Stops like this. It's, uh, yeah, it's very limited, but yeah, it's Bruticus, you know. And the knee does, if you open this panel up, does bend a lot. It does have 90 degrees. The foot is on the ankle tilt, and it's pretty much, oh, we do have, no, it's the uh, connector that pegged off. <laughs> so yeah, nothing at the heels. So yeah, pretty much it. Awesome figure still. I really dig Pluticus. Awesome. He's one of my favorite. If you want a comparison, just, here's the G1 Pluticus. Oop, he just lost his front panel. So here's my G1 Bruticus. <laughs> Almost the same size, you know? Yeah, the same height. And just for the fun of it, here's DX9's Alki, which is uh, much smaller. <laughs> Still looks pretty good. But yeah, he is a broom. Uh, Hulky or a Devastator is supposed to be uh, bigger. But yeah. This aside, my G1 aside, yep. and yeah, here's Bridge Watcher, and here's the uh, Shockwave uh, Blaster that comes with it. We can give it the guns, you have to move the thumb, slide this in, and yeah, it pegged in. So he does hold it perfectly, it just kind of blocks because of this part. Maybe if we move in the uh, other hand, it might be not as much injured, but no, it's really injured by the uh, tail fin. So you have to rotate the arm like this, rotate the hand, and maybe like this it might not be as much injured. Yeah, this one fits really good. So this is the blast up that comes with it, and this is the uh, bridge watcher. Let's try, let's remove this. The, the whole torso just fell off. All right, this, what, what unpegged? Why did it unpeg? All right. All right, let's just move this. And here's the bridge watcher, and oh, the thumb might be way too much in the way. Uh, no, it holds. He does hold it. And let's close this up. And let's peg everything back in. So yeah, he does hit hold bridge watcher. He can even Yeah, he can hold it really good. Which is really nice. I wasn't expecting that. He's pretty heavy. And here's the uh, the other cannon. <laughs> <laughs> now he's dual wielding shockwave, so I guess we can just store the gun in the backpack right here. And yeah. Pew pew! <laughs> so yeah, awesome, awesome set. I really dig this. I really love Bruticus. He's one of my favorite combiner. And this is by far one of the best Bruticus sets so far. So I highly recommend this until Zeta completes the. Uh, combiner Bruticus coming up This so far is the best Bruticus set on the market. So yeah, go and pick it up highly recommend it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, Thank you for watching and see you next time